How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnot. We are back at it again for another episode. We have decided to go down the road for our Tuesday afternoon. Uh, simply because we are starting to get a bit sick and tired of sitting on our backsides. So we are down at Wilson's Mitre 10 to grab a few things from here. And to have a look at something else while we're here. A little car as it were. One of these to be precise. We're also going to go grab something in particular. A, a clickety click something that I'm currently using right now uh, set up in my room to see if we can catch anything unusual but uh, I highly doubt we will but either way we're, gonna, we're here we're gonna have a look and everything else in between so without further ado guys let's go oh, pelting they didn't have what we were after it was actually after a security camera that sort of swivels around but uh, these guys didn't have any in stock it must be an online thing, so I might have to have a look online, see if we can get it all delivered at some point down for me in the future. That's all right. I'll have a bit of a gander and see where else we'll have such things to uh, have one stuck in me room. But for now, uh, time for us to go to the next little thing, which could be uh, up to Matting Lee by the looks of it, but that's all right. We don't mind going for a little drive on our Tuesday off. So we didn't exactly come home empty handed guys. There is a couple of things that we did buy. One of those things being these particular gaming headsets. It is a USB one unfortunately. It's not one that you can just plug into a little uh, jack like that. It's uh, one of those USBs which I've got into the PlayStation right over there. 7.1 channel surround sound so that is awesome because every time the character turns you can hear it in a particular spot so if it's behind you you hear it behind and so on and so forth that is insane so you've got yourself a little microphone the other little thing that we got is this gaming mouse it is a fairly light one it is a rechargeable bluetooth one i do have that one as well which i've used quite a bit but much prefer to have something a little bit bigger so it curves over the mouse like that instead of having the hand like that because having the hand like that way too much it can uh, cramp up the hand something chronic but uh, having this if you have a look that's what that looks like a car that's nice curved over the thing but you look at this one it's uh, cramped up so you can see the difference between the two that don't get me wrong has done me well but that is going to be smicky another thing about these i just realized as well is with the um editing videos that's going to make it sound so much better and i realized this as well i should have done an unboxing for these because i know people love unboxing videos didn't even dare not think of it until after the fact oh well poop happens it's only the, the, the berries so not only that, we're going to go out for dinner tonight, which is going to be bloody awesome. Steak and chips, I think, are going to be going down well, without a doubt. Oh, oh look, yeah, dinner time, guys. It's been a hot minute since we've been to this place. Bacchus Mirage Golf Club. I'm going to have me typical, uh, as you would say, steak and chips, as per the usual. Hopefully they've got garlic butter. That is what one is hoping. Get some other things before we start the day. 
so that we don't freeze our damn fingers off. And I'll keep the gloves and that in my bag. So at least that way, before we walk out the door, we can uh, put the gloves on so we can stay nice and cosy. Look at that. It's finally come down to minus one. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, no wonder why my feet and fingers feel like they're blistering, burning, and everything else in between. It's because of that damn temperature right there. I know that I've said in the past that I love winter, and that's not a lie. I do love winter if it's not too damn cold. For me, 10 degrees Celsius or 8 degrees Celsius to about 15 degrees C is roughly the temp that I love. And I'll put the Fahrenheit just there. But to be honest with you, I am so glad of one thing in particular. Getting this jumper. It's not a perfect jumper, but it does its job for what we're after. It does restrain too much cold getting in and it does slow the heat going out but uh yeah the worst part of it this morning i had to get myself a damn blanket from home this is one of those ch el cheapo buddy worn mixed blankets i've just got it wrapped around my legs at the moment because i don't want to keep me car running uh, wasting fuel and everything else in between. There's not much point in bloody complaining about too much because the weather is not going to change for uh, for just a couple of simple words. All we have to do is just, as you would say, grin and bear it. <laughs> so I'm going to sit out here for a little bit longer and wait until that time to uh, when the doors open up. Then we'll go inside and do our thing. Yep. Another frosty morning. Oh well. Let's go see what sort of damage that we've got over in the over by the van. Get our gear and get this day started. Give myself a little extra time so I can go and get myself some gloves and everything else in between because no my bloody luck when we're uh, as you would say getting ourselves ready. We're going to potentially freeze our hands off, so the sooner we can get some gloves, the better it will be for us. <sighs> so damn cold, I can even see my own bloody breath. It's that freaking cold. Just as I thought, guys. Frozen solid. Even the water's not coming out at this given time. It's that freaking cold. So I went and bought myself a new beanie and some gloves. So these are supposed to be really good with heat. I will admit I can bear, uh, just feel the cold coming through the fingers at the moment. But uh, at the moment these are so much better than having nothing at all. Because I can tell you right now my fingers would be very hard pressed to move but they're doing it perfectly fine. I uh, had to take the other bloody glove off because the doors did not want to open this morning uh, the locks themselves but uh, I've managed to get the little key out of the fob open up the doors and now we're cooking so I'm just gonna have to sit here for a few minutes to uh, try and let everything heat up and everything else in between so that's what we're gonna do for now for the next couple minutes is uh, let everything heat up here in the van is saying it's one degree 34 degree Fahrenheit I'm even seeing me breath in the van. It's uh, oh, it's just dropped down to 0.5, so half a degree. So what's that? That'll be 33 degrees Fahrenheit, thereabouts. <sighs> All I need is this van to heat up faster than what it is. That is inside the van. It is that friggin' cold right now. It's not snowing, which is a bit of a bummer. Would have loved to have seen some snow on the ground but that would have made the drive a little bit trickier than what we usually go for but that is alright I guess I can live without seeing the snow and everything else in between because we do not want black ice on the road uh, a fair few of you may have hit black ice in the past so you guys know exactly 
what that means. Talking about ice, I'll show you guys a little something with the front windshield. As you guys can see with the front windshield, it is all iced over at the moment. But, listen to this. That's just moisture on the windshield, on the side, side, um, side glass on the door. Nothing to worry about. Oh, we come back to here. It is icy on the inside of the friggin' windshield. What the actual badonka donks is that? Ugh. It's gonna be a while for this uh, windshield to unfreeze, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to put this heater back on and see if we can uh, try and shift some of this ice before we move. Look at that, it is bloody frozen, bloody frozen. Quick and easy way, if you don't have an ice scraper, you've got a clipboard, just come out and just start doing your business. Holy crap, that's actually a lot frostier than the last time. I'd have to say that's probably about one times more Frostier than the last one. That is knocking futz. Who wants to come do Frost Angels with me? That would be uh, not a wise move on anyone's behalf, I will admit. That would be uh, just a little too frosty on the back, me thinks. Now that we've got the frosty day over and done with, it's time to go down to the doctors. I will show you guys exactly what I mean in just a moment. But first things first, we're going to have to go in get ourselves sorted out and everything else in between so I'll be right back. Alright so we're done at the doctors now a little trip to the pharmacy grab some cream if you guys are wondering what sort of cream we need some steroid cream don't worry it's not going up any holes or anything like that it's nothing to do with that it's got to do with something else I uh, <laughs> can't believe this I never thought this would happen, but unfortunately, I've gotten a, not an infection, but as you would say, a uh, what is it called? An allergic reaction to the ink that the person used on the tattoo. So, this is pretty much what it looks like. Doesn't look very nice at all. But, uh, all those red splotches that you see just here and up and around up around here is all an allergic reaction I haven't had any like throat problems or anything like that it's mainly just uh, really itchy around the arm so what the doctor has informed me to do is take the steroid cream twice a day for a week seven days and antihistamines so Telfast 180 milligram to fix that so we're going to go down to the pharmacy, grab both the Telfast and the cream. Hopefully that will fix the damn problem. So for about two weeks after I had the tattoo done, I had no issues with it whatsoever. But as soon as I stopped doing the air, um, antiseptic cream, that's when it got really itchy. And I was just using the cream to try and bugger it off. I thought it was just a simple infection, but yeah. It's one of those things that uh, you do need to be careful of. Uh, sometimes the ink that they use is uh, can cause allergic reactions. You would have thought that I've learned after the first one to keep doing it for many weeks. But I think with this one here, I did it for about four weeks, maybe five to just keep, keep with the cream. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I stopped after two, so lesson learned. UFS Pharmacy, the one that I usually go to, especially from the doctors, makes it a little bit easier to get uh, stuff. Don't get any discounts, but that's alright. So we're going to go and get our stuff, some Telfast, and everything else in between. Well, this will be about half an hour. Now that's all sorted out, guys. Don't have to worry about it for the time being, unless it doesn't go away with this cream. But all we can do is try it out, and everything else in between. So 
Well, we're all creamed up. We're all antihistamined up. I must admit, I'm feeling a bit weird at the moment, guys. I'm not too sure. But uh, the itch is gone, which is good, which is lovely, which is what we want. But, like I said, I'm feeling just a little bit weird. Kind of like, uh, it's a bit weird to describe, a bit weird to say this, but I'm kind of feeling confident. It's weird, I know. But, uh, don't need to worry too much about it because... I know it's probably not going to last very long, as it were. Not only that, we are down the street to do our Wednesday night little meeting, as it were. But I know you guys are getting a bit bored of that. So the last time you'll hear it from me. Not only that, I decided to come down a little early. Grab myself a whole heap of these vitamins. That is a Mega B. Doing a little bit of research to try and get my liver functioning better than what it was has been as you guys know I used to drink quite a lot but uh, not anymore so because of having a fatty liver because of certain things those vitamins vitamins are gonna hopefully help us with getting our liver back to normality Ooh -wee, five degrees at uh, nine o'clock that is a cold night. It's going to be an even colder morning tomorrow. We'll see how things go. Now it's time to go home into a warm house. So with the weather being at 4 degrees or 3 degrees when I was coming home, we're definitely going to have to rug up tonight to make sure that we're not too cold. And I tell you what, this week's going to be very, very cold to say the least. And on a little side note too though guys, as you would have seen with the previous clip, the size of this damn tube I don't know why or how this little tube of cream can last seven days, especially using it twice a day. Because I've been using this one here, Savon, to try and get rid of that uh, so called rash that I've got on my arm. Don't get me wrong, it stopped the itchiness and it has sort of degraded the, some of the colour down a little bit, but it's just not cutting, the, cutting it. This uh, other stuff's got some steroids in it to hopefully get rid of it quicker. Plus having the other stuff, the antihistamines will help with that. So that and the cream should hopefully get rid of it. Then I can keep, uh, as you would say, cleaning it with the Savon and so on and so forth. But that is for me to do just whenever I get the chance to do so. But for now guys, I'm basically going to leave it at that. So in other words, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of this video, part of this channel, and everything else in between. I do appreciate each and every one of you for the continuation of the follow, follow and subscri uh, subscri uh, subscription that you guys have got. Got a bit tongue-tied there. It sometimes happens when I get a little bit uh, excited, as you would say. But I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, guys. Stay happy, stay positive, and everything else in between. Until the next video, guys, keep it easy.